Hello and welcome to the German Spearfishing Channel. My name is Chris and I want to explain you as a diver or a spearfisher or an apnoe diver why you should pinch holes in your neoprene suit. So stay on. Okay, first of all, I want to show you the reasons. There are two reasons why to pinch the holes inside. And in the second part of the video, I want to explain you how to do it and show it. Okay. Okay, let's start. Let's say this is me. <laughs> this is me. And this is my neoprene suit. The neoprene suit, some suits came with um, prefectured holes inside, but this one has no holes inside. There are two reasons. Okay, this is me, this is my ear. And this is the neoprene that is going around my head. When I dive down, Normally, without um, without the suit, you do the pressure equalization. So the air from your nose equalize the air inside your ear. But when you get a neoprene suit on your ear, and this is when the neoprene suit is fitting very well and it's um, like glue on the ears there is a small small amount of air between your ear this is the ear this is the neoprene and this is the ear between your ear and the neoprene so this is what's what is causing the trouble when you go down you um the air inside is compressed and the water pressures from outside on the neoprene suit. So through this um, amount of air inside your between your ear and the uh, neoprene suit you have an additional space where you have to do a pressure equalization. When you normally are in the water there's the barrier between the water and your ear. What is in English? In German it's Trommelfell. <laughs> okay, it's tympanum. I looked it up. So the water is pressuring directly on your tympanum and under your tympanum um, there's air inside. So the pressure equalization equalizes the pressure between the water and the ear. Um, them. So, um, when you have this extra air bubble, it is much harder to do the pres pressure equalization because you have this additional amount of space. So, this is the first point why you should put holes inside your um, neoprene when um, it is fitting very well. So, second is when you're diving up okay the air between your ear and the neoprene is increasing because it expands due to the um, law of boil so the pressure is increasing and is also pushing on your ear which we want to uh, avoid because the risk of a uh, barotrauma would be too high so first of all you pinch two holes above your ear one on this side and one on this side how we do it i'll explain you later um, to do a much more easier pressure equalization and this is for spearfisher and apnea divers um, for scuba divers it's the same but when scuba divers are diving all the air from their breathing regulator breathing regulator um, 
zips up inside inside of um, the hood. So after a little while there will be much more air inside um, the hood and you will float up and it will mess up your whole diving process. Let's come to the second or let's say the third reason. So this is me spearfishing happy on the water. We got a lobster with um, a lighter and a needle which we're gonna use later and this is me. I'm on a flat even horizon on the um, water. So what happens? Always when you're diving the head is a little bit outside of the water. You're not laying like under the water like this. You're laying outside of the water and the head is always the highest point which is reaching out. So when you got like small amounts of air when you go into the water everywhere um, in the suit it will collect where it will collect here perhaps you um, recognize it already when you're in the water and you feel like all the air is here in your neck and in the front of your uh, in the uh, in the back of your head so this is why you do additional holes here and here. So all the air that is coming up from the neoprene, from the trousers, from the arms, from the back is collecting here when you're in the water and it is able to, um, to bubble out. So. This is why you should like at least do three, one, two, and three, up to four or five, four, five holes inside. Yeah, you can try it, it's not a big problem. Um, I explain how to do it. And if it don't work for you, you just easy can close um, the hood again with neoprene glue. It's no big mess. So, I explain you now how to do it. Catch up guys. So you expected this is all we need. Four sieps, lighter and large, medium large needle and a permanent marker and your diving suit. Okay, first of all you put on your diving suit like you regularly do it, like you would regularly Wear it. Then take the permanent marker and mark exactly where your ear is. One and two. That's it. Okay, here's one marking and here's one marking. One small advice. Um, when you want to put on a diving suit, just use soap water, works best. Okay, what are we gonna do now? We heat up the needle with the lighter and the reason is why we use a needle because it smells the neoprene with the cloth together. It's the best way. Okay. Then you have to be quick and just pinch one hole in there, twist it a little bit. It's gonna stay open. Open, perfect. One, other side, same procedure. Heat up the needle until it's um, orange. Takes like 30 seconds. Be careful not to ram the needle inside your hand when smelting. A little bit more. Yeah. 
and like I said if you want to close just use ordinary neoprene glue there's the first hole and here's the second hole you even can see through so now we do the back back holes you don't have to be that accurate at that side okay burning hot okay one in here they don't have to be large but they have to be here okay no that was not good Always try that the neoprene is smelting, not pinching with the needle. Okay. There is smoke coming from um, the neoprene when you do it right. That's it. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up as usual. Follow up my channel, um, leave a subscribe. Please comment if you have any questions. I answer all my, all my viewers and try to answer, give the best answers. And thank you and goodbye guys. Bye bye.